think the Secretary General uh, will have uh, short remarks about uh, the, the meeting of the NATO-Ukraine Commission, which is just over, and then, as usual, he will be very happy to take your questions. Good evening. We have uh, just uh, finished a uh, very successful meeting of the NATO-Ukraine uh, Commission. And NATO stands firm in our support uh, for Ukraine's uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity and for Ukraine's right to decide uh, its own future, free from outside interference. We strongly condemn Russia's aggressive actions uh, and we call on Russia to fully abide by international law. Russia's annexation of Crimea is illegal and illegitimate and we do not and will not recognize it. We condemn Russia's ongoing and wide-ranging military buildup in Crimea and we are deeply concerned by statements about possible future stationing of nuclear weapons and, de and delivery systems in Crimea. And we are concerned by Russia's efforts to further build up its military presence in the Black Sea region. This could have further implications on regional stability. The Minsk agreement offers the best chances to settle the conflict in eastern Ukraine by diplomatic means and dialogue. But what we see is an increase in ceasefire violations, primarily by the separatists. Continued Russian support for them and the continued obstruction of the work of the OSCE monitors. This is in contradiction to the Minsk agreements. All parties bear responsibility to ensure full implementation. Russia has a significant responsibility in this regard. We call on Russia to stop its deliberate destabilization of eastern Ukraine, end its support for the separatists, withdraw its forces and military equipment from Ukraine and along its borders, and fully support a political solution. At the same time, we welcome Ukraine's efforts to promote reform and reconciliation, because reforms are key for a prosperous and democratic future. So we strongly encourage the government of Ukraine to continue its efforts at full speed. Our close cooperation will strengthen Ukraine's ability to defend itself. We have stepped up our support to Ukraine on command and control, logistics, cyber defense, and rehabilitation of wounded soldiers. We have strengthened our office in Kiev, provided advisors to the government of Ukraine, including the Ministry of Defense. And Ukraine will host a NATO-led exercise on disaster response this autumn. So our partnership is strong and it is getting even stronger. With that, I'm ready to take your questions.